This is the University of Rochester. This fossil, in particular this fossil, was uh, discovered in, in 2006. Um, it was part of uh, several expeditions that we've had to the high Canadian Arctic. The fossil is important for several reasons. It, it's a large turtle uh, with a semicircular shell. That's important because it then places it in a part of turtles that are uh, fossil turtles that have their affinities with a group in Asia. And it's really the northernmost occurrence of that uh, group of fossils in North America that we have known for a long time uh, probably had their origins in Asia. But this is the, really the first fossil that is a link that actually shows how that interchange may have taken place. We know from the fossil assemblage that um, during this time, about 90 million years ago, it was extremely warm, um, a time of ultra-thermal, probably uh, greenhouse conditions due to volcanic outgassing. And that really set the stage. Uh, there was no polar ice, and that allowed various um, fauna to uh, extend their ranges to more northerly latitudes. Then we believe that there were several special circumstances that came into play that actually allowed um, this particular turtle to migrate across the ice-free polar region. At this time, the Arctic Basin was um, less, um, less open to the other world ocean um, as compared to today. That is, it was a much more restricted ocean basin. And there are large rivers that actually flow into the Arctic Ocean and that supply fresh water. So uh, for this reason there would have been um, a fresh water input and we believe a fresh water cap on top of the Arctic Ocean. This would have allowed, um, at least um, promoted the ability of certain um, groups, this particular fossil turtle, to uh, migrate across the Arctic Ocean because it is actually a freshwater turtle.